Hi, I'm Jesse. And I'm Lisa. And we're the Lisa Abbott team. And we are back with another market update for November. Yes. So I feel like I'm the bearer of bad news every month that uh, prices have increased again. <laughs> Maybe not a, a huge jump. Uh, but there has been a, a little bit of an increase. One thing to note, though, is from October 2020 to uh, this October, when we compare the two months, we had an outstanding month last last year in October, and we had significant sales. And then this year, it's been decreased a little bit by about 31%. Now, saying that, we have seen month over month in the last three or four months, we've seen a little bit of an increase in the number of listings hitting the market but not enough that really is going to make any kind of large impact. Yeah, the number of uh, the number of sales this October did not touch last October, yes. that's for sure. Yes. <laughs> but overall we are still down on um, new listings, still down on firm sales, but showings have gone way up. So what does that mean for sellers? So what that means is that buyers right now are out in full force. And, you know, as a seller, that is what you want to see. But the problem is, you know, the fear we're getting from uh, sellers is that what if I sell my house and I have nowhere to go? And, you know, that's a legitimate concern right now um, with the way things, things are going. But you have to take into consideration that you're not going to be able to put in a condition on the sale of your home in a in a purchase situation, but you're holding all the cards as a seller. So you may be able to get somebody like get people to agree to allow you time to um, find a home. So they may extend the closing date. They may even be open to a condition on you finding a home within a certain period of time. So these are all options for a, a seller so that we can get to some of these beautiful homes back on the market and they can be able, you know, they're not sitting in a house that they're busting at in the seat at the seams at um, for any length of time. So that's an option. Yeah. You do not have to live in a home that you do not love. You, you we just have to be smart about how we're going to get you into the next one. Exactly. Or a first one. Yes. Um, so for buyers, it, uh, it is very competitive out there, um, right? We're seeing that with the with the showings numbers, and um, in all likelihood, you will be in a multiple offer situation, right? And I know that's a bad word for buyers; they don't like to hear that, but that's the reality of the market, and it doesn't have to be as big of of a concern going up against other offers. Mm -hmm. A lot of the times, people. Um, associate multiple offers with overpaying for a house. And that's not necessarily true. Unfortunately, pricing right now, you know, could be a $700,000 home should be selling for around $700,000, right? Whether it's priced at three, $399, $499, $699, If it's worth $700,000, the, the multiples and everything else should drive it to that $700,000 price point. And the way we determine um, what that market value should be is based on what's been going on in the area. If you're listing your home, but your neighbor sold for $700, you should probably be getting $700, right? Um, and a really cool tool that we have now that actually is is open for, for your use and for our clients is our new app. And it allows you to look at the sales data, right? So not the $399 that's posted, but the, the $800 it's selling for. You get to see that information and that is um, more rare and harder to find, <laughs> that, that sales data. So if you are interested in looking at that and educating yourself on what's going on in either your area or an area that you're interested in or a neighborhood that you're driving through, let us know because we are more than happy to send this app out to you um, so that you can that you can help yourself too. Yeah, right? so just reach out to us. Uh, certainly if you want the app or if you have any questions, uh, whether it's through Facebook, we'll make sure that we have a link below so that you can reach out to us. Okay, yeah. so just reach out. We're happy to always happy to answer any questions you may have or just send you this link. And uh, we hope you have a great day and hope you found this information useful. Look Take forward care. to hearing from you. Bye. Bye.